Iman Gadzi portrays himself as an exemplary entrepreneur, a millionaire at just 18 years old and an $85 million net worth by 23. Mm -hmm. From agency owner to YouTube star, he's had a meteoric rise. Mm -hmm. On the surface, he seems perfect, a little too perfect. He's as charismatic and polished as they come. And so far, he's escaped any kind of scrutiny until now. E-Man has grown to nearly 5 million subscribers on YouTube, over 1.7 million on Instagram, and has clips viewed by millions more. His young fan base loves him and is hungry for wealth and success. But is he just another core seller promoting the dream or the real deal? Did his NFT actually deliver or just crumble into the typical wasteland of empty promises and empty bank accounts? I dug deeper to find out. While researching this video, he found out I was digging and tried to cover his tracks, but this train is full steam ahead. Let's dive in. Iman Gadzi has carefully curated an image of a successful entrepreneur and investor. But what if that isn't entirely true? He seems to have a large and loyal audience, but that doesn't stop him from buying bot comments. Here on a mini viral video from a small YouTuber named Switzy, you can see Iman's name among several other botted comments. Looks like she forgot to remove Iman's name from her bot script. Switzy is also in Dubai, so it wouldn't surprise me at all if Iman hooked him up with this bot guy. Fake comments aside, there's no doubt in my mind that Iman is wealthy. Yes, influencers can max credit cards to rent a supercar for a day, but his lifestyle is not cheap. What matters most to me is the source of the funds and if the guru is as legitimate as they claim. E-Man is a core seller, one that likely makes millions of dollars a year. You've probably seen one. Did his course price was just 1500 euros? Aisa kya they claim. E-Man is a core seller. Foolproof formula for starting and scaling your own digital marketing agency. I know a lot of people who have digital marketing agencies, multi-millionaire, honge, easily hai wo. The way they did it was through experience. Sab ki sab ke paas ta gade level ka experience tha kahan kahan se aa rahe the wo. So, three ya four log the, yes, four founder keh lo ya four person jo jo bhi the, but wo apni apni field mein four log pehle industry mein bhayankar level ka experience tha unka. Again, main baat bataunga, wo sirf digital marketing nahi kar rahe. Traditional marketing bhi kar rahe wo. That's how they started, right? They started kafi pehle. But my point is, the best way I saw was ghoso, experience lo, samjho, upar se niche tak, upura operational problems kya hoti hai, functioning kya hoti hai, softwares kya hoti hai, barriers kya hoti hai, kya kya problems aayengi, hiring trends kya hoti hai, work psychology ki kitni important hoti hai, HR ki kitni important hoti hai, importance hoti hai, Work environment सबसे conducive, सबसे better कौन सा होता है जो सबसे productivity create करता है सबसे ज़्यादा team management क्या होती है team के बीच में problems होती है तो कौन सी work interventions या आपको interventions करनी है जिससे functioning और smooth होए at the end तुम बात क्या कर रहे हो company की company is not like एक technical मैंने तुम्हें formula दे दिया A B C ये है क्योंकि आप कर रहे हो management of groups and groups and groups and teams and teams and teams and a lot of individuals का so inter teams problems आती हैं फिर intra teams problems आती हैं फिर पर्सनल प्रॉब्लम्स आती हैं इंडिविजुअल लेवल पे प्रॉब्लम्स आती हैं इंडिविजुअल लेवल पे पर्सनालिटी रिलेटेड प्रॉब्लम्स आती हैं जेंडर प्रॉब्लम्स तुम्हें मिलेंगी बहुत प्रॉब्लम्स मिलेंगी गॉस से नॉट टंकियां वो अलग चल रही हैं दो टीम्स के बीच में अनबन चल रही है दो टीम्स में से आपने एक टीम का जो लीडर था उसको रिप्लेस किया जो नया लीडर आया उसके साथ जो ग्रुप था वो उसको पुराना लीडर पसंद है तो वो काइंड ऑफ लॉयल्टी वाले भाव में जा रहे हैं उनको नए वाले को एक्सेप्ट नहीं कर रहे मैं तुम्हें बता नहीं सकता कितनी नॉट टंकियां होती है डिपार्टमेंट से बीच में नॉट टंकियां चल रही हैं भाई ये ट्रेन है जो कि फुल स्पीड या फिर गजब स्पीड से चलनी चाहिए वाइल्स मैनेजिंग ह्यूमंस इट्स इट्स बेसिकली साइंस प्रोडक्टिविटी इट्स नॉट लाइक सुबह उठ के तुम्हारा जो भी मैनेजर है वो कहेगा ये We've so seen one of his ads recently. A major component of his sales pitch is that he had a tough life growing up. I'm a only child and I just had a difficult upbringing. I try not to dive too deep into people's personal lives, but he includes it in his brand image and I he found does, this I next think. segment contradictory. Uh, eventually she like moved over there and took me with her and my stepdad. You know, it was like this like fairy tale, you know, my stepdad was quite wealthy. So in addition to a new life in a new country, Eman was sent to a better school. Um, so he put me into private school, expensive private school. So as I said, like this is literally like a fairy tale or supposed to be like a fairy tale ending, you know. How much money the dad had, we don't know, but this statement should give us an idea on the tax bracket. Um, my stepdad moved to uh, Dubai when I was eight years old. So from eight years old, he lived in Dubai and he was only back in London for, you know, 90 days, 120 days a year, but he was also allowed more days because he had a family. So he 
it was just it was this weird chess move where basically he saved a lot of money on taxes. Country hacking for tax reduction purposes is an honest signal of wealth. What appeared at first to be a great situation eventually soured and they got divorced. Apparently he was never around for Eman's childhood. Eman is now partially living in Dubai, like father like son. Eager to make a better life for him and his mom, Eman began posting videos on YouTube with the goal of becoming a sponsored fitness influencer. It's hard to believe he and his mom were struggling that much though with him posting about his trips to Italy on his channel. All right guys, so I am back from Italy. I went away for the weekend. Do I look tanned at all? If you're actually struggling financially, unlike these millionaire gurus, therapy can help you get through tough times. That's why I partner with today's sponsor, BetterHelp. By networking and growing a small following, he was able to land a sponsorship deal which gave him the first taste of YouTube success. Mm. To his credit, he was allegedly pretty savvy with social media during his early teenage years. Actually how back in 2014, I got into the world of flipping Instagram accounts. Then when kids found out at my school, I mean, they basically just flamed me for, you know, the longest amount. It didn't matter that I was making, you know, $500, $1,000 a month from the side hustle. His YouTube channel eventually led him to starting an agency for social media marketing services. So I signed my first client. Uh, it was content creation, editing, uh, social media management and distribution for $380 a month. And that was August of 2016. It was actually my old football club. I had athlete, then Zebra Fuel, then Furo Systems. And then the one after was a personal trainer called James Taylor. So um, the way I actually got all of these clients was Instagram DM. I believe he had a little success with his agency. Study his content closely enough and you can watch the jumps he was making from starting out to building a team yeah, to run. A lot of people don't understand. Digital marketing agency, was time the internet or influencers or creator or logo ko kafi time laga hai sabadne mein ki hume internet pe hona hai for the longest period of time bahut saare log were very averse to ya fir very dismissive of internet ki hume kya karna hai presence mein apni hum kyon paisa kharch kare hamara sab kuch chal to raha hai aaj jis level pe dependability hai insaan ko pata hai wo survive hi nahi karega internet ke bina early days pe jisne jisne haath mara hai that was a very smart decision it clearly shows that this person ne tumhari early 2016 something mein apni agency start kar li thi which is a very good move Kudos to him. And I think what I'm trying to say is, काफी चीजें होती हैं जहां पे तुम लोग में होता है कि अड़चन आएगी दिमाग में तुम्हें लग रहा है अरे यार ये अरे यार वो हम्म करना चाहिए कि नहीं करना चाहिए मैं कहूंगा यार अगर तुम्हारे पास एक्चुअल में फुल प्रूफ बिजनेस कोई आइडिया है तुम्हारे अंदर नॉलेज है उस चीज की एनी डे अगर तुम कूद के बिजनेस स्टार्ट कर सकते हो मैं कहूंगा एक अच्छा एक्सपीरियंस है यार करके देखो हो सकता है चल जाए और तुम्हें फिर उसका पता चलेगा कि जो रिटर्न है वो क्लियरली सैलरी से तो बहुत बहुत ज्यादा हाई होगा running what appeared to be a legitimate agency, but the timeline and business filing strain credibility. In July 2017, at age 17, he posted this. So what I want to talk about today is what I learned creating a six-figure business at the age of 17. Just to clarify, my marketing agency has not made 100,000 pounds yet. And when I say 100,000, I mean that in pounds and profit. It hasn't made that yet, but it's very much on track to do so and to surpass that. And then a year later, he claims to have a $1 million net worth. He was born in 2000, so that would mean a million dollars in 2018. I'll think a lot of it and you have to understand here there are two things we go to the time period we are talking about the early internet 2017, 18 this is your Logan Paul and Jake Paul dominated era this is your era where influencers were almost closed and closed there was no credibility check in such a way we are doing scrutiny now and I think in this case we are seeing that I have to make a career and I don't have anything now I don't have anything now I don't have anything now लेकिन मैं अगर बोल दे रहा हूं एक हजार रुपए है मेरे पास मेरा करियर चल रहा है अगेन 2002-2018 एरा है जहां पे मोस्टली लोग झूठ बोल रहे थे मोस्टली लोग कंप्लीटली फेक कर रहे थे अपनी इंटायर पर्सनालिटी इंसान व्यूज के लिए कुछ भी कर रहा था लोग एक्टर्स हायर कर रहे थे और वो प्रैंक वीडियो बना रहे थे हम यहां बात करें टू की ये अलग ही टाइम था सब कुछ तुम्हारे किसिंग प्रैंक्स ये प्रैंक्स और प्रैंक्स वीडियो सबसे हाईएस्ट होते थे बाद में सब की सब तुम्हारे चैनल से एक्सपोज हुए और खत्म हो गया पूरा पूरा जॉन रहा वो क्योंकि तो पता चला सब एक्टर्स हायर कर रहे थे सब कुछ स्क्रिप्टेड था I made my first million at the ripe age of 18 years old. Let's see how truthful this claim is. One of his businesses named IAG Online Services was incorporated in 2018. Here's the certificate showing January 31, 2018 as the official start date. In the UK, even private businesses have to submit paperwork and asset documents, which is how I access this data. You know, and then I started scaling to like 50, 60, 70K a month. The balance sheet shows this company had less than $300,000 in assets. I watched a lot of his videos around this time and there was no indication of other assets owned such as real estate, stocks, or private equity in other businesses. This is the balance sheet for 2023 that shows the company is having only $177,000 in assets. 2023? 
60k a month or whatever to where I am right now at like roughly 200k a month profit. It's tr I think it's never jobi paisa banaya hai. Now that I can see, I think it's never up in courses. So, when I had my impression, you thought that by his neck alternatively a parallel make could come as a car 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 and us say for you. यहाँ पे भी YouTube पे भी आ गए हैं और अपने YouTube पे भी तुम एक सेकंड यू नो इन्फ्लुएंसर बन के अपना सेकंड बिजनेस स्टार्ट कर देते हो या थर्ड बिजनेस स्टार्ट कर देते हो जो कि वो क्या कोर्सेज भेजते हैं ये सब ऐसा सब उसमें भी बहुत क्वेश्चनेबल चीज़ें होती हैं पर आई एन नो पर जहाँ तक मुझे लग रहा है भाई इसने जितना भी पैसा कमाया फिर एक्चुअल में एक इमेज बेच के कमाया है इंस्टेड ऑफ True that companies don't always keep large cash or asset reserves, but the timeline of his business filings raises even more eyebrows. Another company I found tied to his name is IAG Asset Holdings that was incorporated in 2020. This company also didn't do anything and dissolve less than a year later. Nice Stuff Limited was incorporated in 2019 and did absolutely nothing before dissolving a couple years later. Agency Flow Limited was incorporated December 2021. The balance sheet shows that they have around three hundred and fifteen thousand dollars in total assets. Big Day Lifestyle was incorporated in November two thousand twenty-three. This is for his new drink that he promotes regularly on his Twitter. With all that said, where's the proof of him making millions from his agency? It's possible I'm missing something, but I couldn't find anything indicating his agency was still making millions or ever did. Eman states that he closed his agency in two thousand twenty-two, so this begs the question I always ask、oh. in cases like these: if his agent. Oh. Agency was so profitable. Gary Vaynerchuk model. कोई भी इंसान जिसकी एजेंसी बढ़िया चल रही है उसको पता है अगर मैं फेस ऑलरेडी हूं एजेंसी का जैसे गैरी वेनर चक ने किया था दैट डायरेक्टली एंड इनडायरेक्टली ब्रिंग्स सो मेनी मोर क्लाइंट्स टू द एजेंसी जिसमें कि आप बैठ भी नहीं रहे हो यू जस्ट अ फेस ऑफ द एजेंसी नाउ काम आपके एम्प्लॉयज कर रहे हैं कैंपेन्स आपके एम्प्लॉयज पूरी बनाएंगे क्लाइंट से मिलोगे भी नहीं आपकी वैल्यू देख के इंसान आ रहा है टिकटॉक पे रहता है मैं हमेशा देखता हूँ स्क्रोल कर रहा हूँ इंस्टाग्राम पे हमेशा ही देखता रहता है मुझको देखो कोई बिजनेस पर्सन जो स्मार्ट बिजनेस पर्सन है वो एक तरफ से अगर 10 मिलियन आ रहे हैं वो खत्म नहीं करेगा वो कहेगा भाई इधर से भी आता रहा इधर से भी आता रहा इधर से भी आता रहा अगर मेरे पास टाइम नहीं है तो मैं एक दूसरा ईमान का दिया कोई भी इंसान को हायर करके बैठा दूंगा लाइक जस्ट टेक द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ इलॉन मस्क इलॉन मस्क की कितनी सारी कंपनियां हैं बट इलॉन मस्क एक कंपनी स्टार्ट अगर ट्विटर उसने अक्वायर करी तो उसने स्पेस को छोड़ नहीं दिया उसने नहीं क्या बंद कर दी ट्विट स्पेस या फिर टेस्ला कि भाई तू संभाल तेरे को दूंगा मैं तगड़ी लेवल पर सैलरी और एक दिमाग वाले खतरनाक लोग बैठे हैं Why didn't he sell it? Eman posted on Facebook that he hates people who don't practice what they preach. Eman, since you make all of your money selling a course and running an agency, but don't run an agency yourself, does that mean you hate yourself? Here's the best part, and yet here's me chained to my laptop, working late at night. This isn't how you should run an agency, Eman. The good news is that's not how I run mine. IAG Media was incorporated in November 2017. This company didn't do anything and shut down less than a year later. This company has been dissolved since August 14, 2018. IAG Media only took up four or five hours a week of Eman's time, his words, because it wasn't doing any business. His four-hour work week was four hours because he had no clients. So what happens when your business isn't making any money? Ladies and gentlemen, this video is not clickbait. On the six-year anniversary of signing my first client back in August of 2016. I'm shutting my agency down. Six years of blood, sweat, and tears—a six-year journey that took me from a broke high school student to a multi-millionaire. Tell me if you've heard this one before. Business owner shuts down business that makes a lot of money. I haven't. Honestly, I haven't because it doesn't happen.、Yeah. And if they want to move on, they sell the business. Simple as that. They can like even like valuetainment. Well, in some nigga, everybody knows public information. Hey. I don't. I, what's his name? Patrick. Oh, something, something. वो बंदा मल्टी मिलियनर्स इंश्योरेंस से, and then he sold his company for multi multi millions of dollars. Accept a lowball offer if they want. Someone will buy a profitable business. You can guarantee that. Hundred percent. I run a seven-figure agency using systems and processes. I haven't seen any proof. That really showed it in 2021, where at my agency, IG Media, we had our best year and we also had our best single month at $160,000 in profit. Again, I haven't seen any proof. Eman has successfully convinced everyone that he's a mogul agency owner when his business's balance sheets indicate something else. His course could be amazing; it could have thousands of successful students. His software upsell could be everything these customers need. Sure, I hope that's the case. But I think Eman realized that selling a highly priced course was how you actually make money in the super competitive agency world. He's not the first and won't be. The I think, yeah, I think also the world has changed. In every five years, world the world changes. 
तो मैं पता है इस टाइम पे एज वी स्पीक कितने लोग अपनी एजेंसी स्टार्ट कर रहे हैं कितने यूट्यूबर्स ने अपनी एजेंसी स्टार्ट कर दी है साइड बाय साइड कितने इन्फ्लुएंसरों ने अपनी एजेंसी स्टार्ट कर दी है साइड बाय साइड और वो इन्फ्लुएंसर्स ऑलरेडी हैं वो दूसरे इन्फ्लुएंसर्स को जानते हैं तब भी वो साइन नहीं कर पाते इतना सेचुरेटेड वर्ल्ड है जहां पर जो मैं जो दिख भी रहा ना प्रॉफिट में वो प्रॉफिट में नहीं है मैं बस इतना ही बोलूंगा क्योंकि चौराहा हुआ हुआ है सब कोई अपनी एजेंसी स्टार्ट करके बैठा है सब कोई the last confident he'll be a billionaire by the time he's 35 he is very disciplined when it with anything financial in his life my favorite trait about eman is he's in this next wave of wanna be entrepreneurs who try to brand themselves as a nine figure business owner but he's just a glorified course seller following the failure of a small time marketing agency and through sheer charisma and video production quality he somehow convinced everyone he's one of the legit ones the biggest tell of these guys is that with each new wave they add a figure to their marketing constantly trying to one up each other first it was six figure then seven then Eight and soon to be nine. Do you really think that these industry expert gurus went from making a few hundred thousand dollars a year to becoming billionaires overnight, or more likely, did they just need to pretend to be making more to sell more courses than the other guys? Now it's time to discuss what we've all been waiting for: Eman's NFT project. What are you excited about right now? Uh, Whatever happened to NFTs? जब आई थी, हर कोई वीडियो बना रहा था, non-fungible tokens. लंबे लंबे वीडियो सब देख रहे थे पागल की तरह एनएफटी खरीद लो एनएफटी खरीद लो सब गायब हो गया बड़ा लेजिटिमाइज कर रहे हैं यूट्यूबर उसे बड़ा पता है मैंने उल्लू प्रजाति कोई नहीं है उल्लू बनाने वाले भी और दिमाग से भी उल्लू क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग घंटाला होती है इनके अंदर इस प्रेजेंट मोमेंट में कितना पैसा कमा सकता हूं अपना मुंह कितना बड़ा खोल सकता हूँ यही है यूट्यूबर ये तो मैं जानता हूँ पता है कितने सारे यूट्यूबरों ने कितने लेवल के स्कैम प्रमोट किए हैं आज जो हम इंडिया में तो अकाउंटेबल ठहराते नहीं है किसी को Definitely GCC. Like all high-end entrepreneurs, he released an NFT project in 2022 to ensure he'd be featured in the next Forbes 30 Under 30 magazine. He pitched the Gents Croquet Club as a private gentleman's club for dudes to network and link up with some high-end gents across the world. Okay. For the past several decades, Gentleman's Club has referred to strip clubs, so you'd expect them to have women around, but no such luck. Not sure why so many guys want to pay so much money to hang out with other guys without a gal in sight, but to each their own. The Gentleman's Croquet Club NFT offers Brotherhood, which while lacking in today's society, is available in VIP access, which Kylie implies access to Eman directly, a major reason for many members joining, I'm sure. Here's one member's comment on Eman's involvement or lack thereof. He never came into the voice channel. He never engaged in the chat. And when he finally addressed it because the community was calling him out, he said he was way too busy focusing on building the project. That's why he hired the moderators and that's why he pays Peter to be in Discord all day. And of course, wealth creation is promised if you join. And how is What is this like? I don't understand. that wealth made with a private research team of course guiding you on crypto nfts and my personal favorite metaverse real estate abhi bata in sab mein se kisi ko bhi jante ho jo karodpati bana hai legitimate just jo already karodpati nahi tha garib insaan jo ki spanning crypto nfts metaverse real estate aur crypto gaming se jo garib tha again ye nahi karodpati aadmi ne apne 20 million ya 10 million ya 2 million duba diye in sab cheezon pe और कुछ मिलियन बना भी लिए जहां तक मैं जानता हूं तुम्हारे लोकल बॉल से जितने भी हैं ये भी रोते ही रहते हैं पैसा इन्होंने डुबाया भी अपना और दूसरों का भी डुबाया है The only form of real estate I'm aware of that doesn't have actual dirt underneath it. This joke market collapsed in less than two years, and now exactly only has 20 people trading in it. Even this guy could have 20 people show up to his virtual barbecue. GCC was launched in May 2022. When you are launching your NFT project, how much? No, make sure you don't know. I'm not saying crypto will invest in crypto or not. But don't tell me that crypto is a career, and I'll teach you how to become a crypto expert. And brother, 20,000 people are learning, and 20 to 20,000 people are learning like this. There's a difference between individual घर पे बैठ के अपने पोर्टफोलियो पोर्टफोलियो में तो थोड़ा सा तुमने बिटकॉइन भी ले रखा है और एक होता है कि मैं तुम लोगों को वादा कर रहा हूं मुझे पैसा दो अपना 500 डॉलर दो 600 डॉलर दो एक हजार डॉलर दो और मैं तुम्हें सिखाऊंगा करोड़पति कैसे बनते हैं ये मेरा वादा है तुमसे क्रिप्टो में वो मुझे बताओ कैसे वर्क करता है भाई much money did you actually make on the launch on that day we did 4.4 million dollars i so personally that's why he shut his agency down agency iski chalwal rahi nahi thi isko samajh mein aa gaya logo ko yahan pe direct बेवकूफ बनाओ अबे ये तुम्हारा वो है तुम लोग समझते नहीं हो ये सिंपल लूप है लूप है सिंपल कि भैया लोगों को दिखाओ मेरे पास पैसा है मुंह से फाड़ फाड़ के बोलो मेरे पास इतना पैसा है मेरे पास इतना पैसा है मेरे पास इतना पैसा है लोग तुम्हें अपना पैसा दे देंगे तो अब फिर एक्चुअल पैसा आ जाता है फिर तुम लोगों को बताते हो मेरे पास और पैसा है मेरे पास इतना पैसा है उतना पैसा लोग तुम्हें और पैसा दे देंगे तो एक्चुअल में तुम जो कह रहे हो तुम्हारा पैसा है जितनी बार तुम बोलते हो उतनी बार तुम और पैसे वाले बन जाते हो कि लोग सुन के पैसा देते रहते हैं अपना 
ये एक बिजनेस मॉडल है इन्फ्लुएंसर्स का बहुत सक्सेसफुल ऊपर सक्सेसफुल मॉडल है तो इसमें लोग क्या करते हैं स्टार्टिंग में रेंट करते हैं बहुत सारी चीजें और कहते हैं आप तुम भी बन जाओगे तुम भी बन जाओगे लोग सारा अपना पैसा दे देते हैं फिर वो इंसान का ये रेवेन्यू मॉडल चलता रहता है तो उसकी जिंदगी में एक ही चीज कर रही है कि बस उसको ये दिखावा करते चले जाना है मेरा बहुत पैसा है बहुत पैसा है बहुत पैसा है और वो एक्चुअली पैसा कमा रहा होगा फिर Home, like you know, because there were costs. I also had, um, you know, our, our developer team. Yeah. Uh, I had a co-founder in that, so I personally took home roughly around like two point eight. Anyone with an ounce of business knowledge knew all along that the NFT model didn't make sense because there was no recurring revenue to support the promises made to the customers. It was all predicated on the promise of a speculative market that never actually existed. And these NFT and that's my point. Crypto, yes, speculative market. Hey, so I didn't understand. इसमें स्टेबिलिटी कहां से तुम प्रमोट कर प्रमोट कर रहे हो लोगों को कि मैं गारंटी ले रहा हूं मैं कितना पैसा दो मैं तुम्हें अमीर बना दूंगा प्रोस प्रिटेंड दे डिडंट प्रॉमिस विंक विंक यू मेड 2.8 मिलियन डॉलर्स एंड आई एम लाइक या दैट्स आल्सो माय सैलरी फॉर द नेक्स्ट 20 इयर्स एंड दिस इज द इनहेरेंट प्रॉब्लम इट इजंट एनफ मनी फॉर हिम टू केयर एज़ वी विल सी इन अ मिनट दीस प्रोजेक्ट्स थ्राइव ऑन इन्फ्लुएंसर फ्यूल्ड हाइप tapping on people's fear of missing out pumping the price up however you have to remember that eventually there's always the last fool and they find themselves holding on to a project with zero utility that serves them no purpose while seeing 70 80 and sometimes even 90% losses in their initial investment oh the irony so he knew the expected failure rate and did it anyway but that's not what eman led his holders to believe here's one holder's account of eman's broken promises eman broke his word period going back to that marketing message this is the nft that you will never sell you will never flip it i really felt that he broke the trust that he was not a man of his word like my biggest beef really is that you can't be a lifetime member and keep the nft at the same time too because for me that is sketch I was scammed. This project's mint was forty-five hundred dollars and was promoted as a place to network. Forty-five hundred dollars. Who gives that, brother? Catch. I was scammed. This project's mint was forty-five hundred dollars and was promoted as a place to network, learn how to trade crypto from an expert, access events, and be a message away from Eman. Most importantly, they were promised that Eman would leverage his social media profiles to market the project. NFT projects all follow the great. Your full theory, so marketing the project to millions is a great value because it increases the chance of a greater fool wanting to buy your NFT. But what happens if there isn't any marketing? Eman promised an end-of-month report for NFT holders. In a message delivered on January 12, 2023, Eman wrote that he will be marketing the project at the top of his lungs that year, even saying he'd be dropping a marketing nuke for the project. On February 7, 2023, Eman wrote that it was time to build GCC into one of the most prestigious men's clubs in the world, along with a video about a Web2 announcement. A couple months later, Eman then sent this video to the community members. Gentlemen, I'm just going to have a very open and honest conversation with you guys today. The things that I've seen in the NFT world, I never thought I would see in the world of business in my entire life. He shares that they make zero revenue, zero form of reliable banking, and can't operate as a Web3 company. They also aren't able to offer the alleged utility of the NFT, a concierge service, for free because it costs three thousand dollars per year. This is a surprise to no one. NFTs were the most obvious scam of all time, and yet people still. fell for them because of the promises being made by the influencers exactly i think baat ye nahi hoti ki tumhare samne ye cheez aur tum gadde gadde khareed rahe ho baat hoti hai beech mein kaun hai in pe aapka trust bahut high hai to ye actual mein insaan ko convert kara dete hain un roadon pe le jate hain jahan pe insaan actual jaane wala tha bhi nahi but kitne middle people the jinke ads sponsorships videos financial advice dekh dekh ke tumne crypto pe paisa dala aur tumhara paisa bahut dooba hai niche comments mein likho bhai मैं नहीं कह रहा क्रिप्टो पे लोगों ने पैसा नहीं बनाया होगा जिसने बनाया कूडोज भाई बट मैं यहां पे बात बनाता हूं जेनुअनली कितने लोग थे जिनका कभी ना मन था ना वो करने वाले थे लेकिन वो कंप्लीटली उन्होंने किया किसी ना किसी एडवाइस पे बेसिस पे और फिर उनको पैसा डूब चुका है द हर्डल्स दैट एनएफटी प्रोजेक्ट्स हैव हैड टू फेस व्हिच शट एनी बिजनेस डाउन एंड नॉट ओनली जस्ट शट बिजनेसेस डाउन इट वुड कॉज रायट इट वुड कॉज पैनिक द रायट्स आर एक्चुअली फ्रॉम ऑल द कस्टमर्स हु बॉट इनटू दीस प्रोजेक्ट्स थिंकिंग देयर विल बी समथिंग ऑफ वैल्यू ऑफर्ड एंड द एनएफटीज कुड बी सोल्ड इयर्स लेटर ईमैन आल्सो स्टेटेड दैट दे नीडेड टू स्विच टू वेब 2 फॉर द प्रोजेक्ट इंस्टेड ऑफ वेब 3 सो इट्स करेंटली $10,000 अ ईयर विल बी मूविंग टू $12,000 अ ईयर वेरी शॉर्टली If you want to know how Eman pays for his lifestyle, look no further than his fans paying ten thousand dollars to be in his community. Now, for those of you that hold five or more, you will get three years access to the inner circle, and this is something we're going to be charging fifty thousand dollars. Are ya? 
अबे यार मुझे लगा मैं बहुत लेजेंड बिजनेस पर्सन है यार ये चाहे कितनी नफरत कर लो अश्नीर ग्रोवर क्योंकि भैया उसने स्टैंड अप जो भी था यार रोज जो था उसमें उसने पार्टिसिपेट नहीं किया आई अंडरस्टैंड बदतमीज है आई अंडरस्टैंड जो भी है भाई वो लेजेंड बिजनेस पर्सन है देर इज अ स्टार्क डिफरेंस बिटवीन स्कैम एंड बिजनेस ये स्क्रीन कर रहा है स्कैम क्योंकि इंसान झूठे वादे करता है एक स्कीम रचता है उस पर डिलीवर नहीं करता a year for this would be an amazing value if you were in a group with elite power players in your industry but it's really just learning from a man the glorified course seller and a few discord messages from his team for $50,000 the one massive oversight is they said that i didn't realize you know just how many of you guys used gcc as an investment strategy rather than for its utility majority of the people buying nfts were doing so because these projects were hype what did he just say सरप्राइज दैट जो उसने बिजनेस मॉडल दिया जो कि इंसान जब पैसा डालता है तो काइंड ऑफ सोचता है कि एक रिटर्न आर मिलेगा वो मॉडल इसको लग रहा है मुझे पता नहीं था तुम आर एक्सपेक्ट करो एक बिजनेस पर्सन कह रहा है कैन यू इमेजिन दैट अगर मैं कह रहा हूं कि भाई इससे हम और पैसा कमा सकते हैं इससे हम लिटरली अभी जो मैं पढ़ रहा था तुम्हारा क्रिप्टो ये वो ये वो एन तो भाई आदमी उसी चक्कर में आया ना कि एक अपॉर्चुनिटी है वन सेन लाइफ टाइम अपॉर्चुनिटी जल्दी से कूद जाओ अगर नहीं कूदे पहले तो ये हाइप क्रिएट करते होंगे लेकिन मार्केटिंग के द्वारा कि लाइक वंस इन अ लाइफ टाइम अभी तुरंत हार गए निकल जाएगा कुछ नहीं होगा तुम ये तो भाई आदमी को लग जाता है भैया डर फियर ऑफ मिसिंग आउट पे खेल रहे हो तुम भयंकर लेवल पे कि नहीं नहीं डाल देते क्योंकि ये इंसान तो करोड़पति है ही ना जो बोलता रहता है सोलह में इतना कर लिया सत्रह में इतना कर लिया तुम सठिया जाओगे पेल दोगे अपना पैसा अपने माँ को बेवकूफ बना के पैसा डाल दोगे अपने हो जाता है सेविंग्स डाल दो पूरी पूरी to the moon by someone with influence and they anticipated being able to make money when the market bottom fell out people lost money and allegedly business savvy people like a man acted surprised reminder that the mint price was around $4500 and some people paid a lot more but for those that don't do anything with it by august 1st uh, as in they don't transfer it to web2 they don't sell it and they don't transfer it i will give a 45 uh, 4500 usdc refund this sounds great iman is offering a full refund but there's more to this story okay. by april 2023 less than a year after minting this project iman already realized it was a failed endeavor in a message to the group he claims that you can trade in your nft for access to what will now be a web2 membership group gcc is the entire group and the more expensive inner circle was the more exclusive group he further claims in the video to be excited about the future of gcc and how awesome of a community he'll be building. His Instagram account at this time followed all of his other businesses but did not follow GCC. On July 5th, 2023, the two guys now running the show posted an update video for the group and addressed the refund claim. Essentially, the initial deadline was August 1st. We are giving 12 months on that deadline. So that deadline is now being pushed back uh to July 2024. This seemed promising for the many holders who wanted a refund. They simply needed to make a decision within the following few months. We believe that with like 12 months of events and other plans outlined in the future of GCC that this gives members who are looking to leave a far more attractive exit strategy. He's basically explaining how holding the token for 12 months will make it easier to dump on the next greater fool since the perception of the token will be more valuable after some more events. Despite these claims, I have multiple screenshots of GCC holders asking Wait, I'll leave for a refund and his response is that there are no refunds available. I could not find any evidence of any refunds that were actually processed. You won't find another person on earth who's willing to put up their own money personally to try to save and solve a situation like this. Eman routinely mentions how much money he makes to the holders, so a little refund of a couple grand shouldn't matter much, right? Here he claims to average a take-home pay of a million dollars a month from his web2 businesses and rejected an eight-figure offer for a software company. He even states that you'd be stupid to believe he did this for money. Although we believe strongly that the market will give the opportunity for the people to to exit at a better rate than any refund would have. My sources have told me that they pulled the offer to refund and haven't granted any to date. This is equivalent to someone walking into Home Depot and asking for a refund on their hammer that broke after opening the package only to have the person tell them to wait another 12 months for inflation to cause hammers to be worth more. The NFTs are now selling for around $23, so good luck exiting your position. And the trading activity is basically dead as well. As Eman's social media accounts get bigger and he likely made more money from his courses, his attention to GCC waned exactly. to the Exactly. He shifted the point of being non-existent in the chats. 
people paid good money thinking most of the value would be access to this young entrepreneur who positioned himself as an excellent investor, knowledgeable businessman, and someone with access to a high-end social network. Instead, they got a worthless NFT, access to a Discord, and invitation to a couple events that would be logistically challenging to attend. Some holders started complaining, then reached out to me, and what do you know? Eman's cover-up began. My sources began asking people in GCC to help assist me with this video. Eman's team caught wind of this, and magically, Eman showed up out of the shadows and followed GCC on Instagram again. Then came this announcement from Eman. All right, guys, so I just wanted to pop in with some very, very exciting news. GCC members will now get access to multiple Educate products for free. I like having this much power over scammers, but that didn't sound like a full refund offer to me. With E-Man constantly telling people how much money he's worth and making But that's the model. That's the model. That's why you're buying. In yearly, a small refund to those who want it shouldn't be too big of an ask. Is he fabricating his income and net worth numbers, or is his ego just too big to care? A couple quick final notes. One, there was a sizable group of holders who considered this a scam who have notified me that Eman and company are working on the project again since finding out about my video. Two, some of the lost utility of the project that Eman promised was outside of his control, his concierge service getting pulled as an example. Three, some people notified me that they've had a good experience with GCC, so not every holder considers it a scam. Four, the end goal for victims of scams is to no longer feel like they were scammed, so if Eman is able to make it right and this video was the catalyst, then that's great news. I think. I think at some point it's called coffee zilla bhi pakar lega and then it'll be much 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 bigger than you know I think in this world you can get pretty far by doing some pretty shitty stuff but at the end of the day that karma always comes back to you I agree thanks for watching Eman Gadzi portrays himself